Hi guys, today we're gonna be making pineapple and coconut cake. If you would like to see this cake being made and the recipe, please keep on watching. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start this coconut cake off by making the batter. Right now I have two sticks of unsalted room temperature butter. I'm gonna add my sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little sugar in here. I don't have a stand mixer yet. And I'm just going to mix this in. Make sure everything is all mixed up. the sugar and cream the butter for about three and a half uh, to four minutes I'm just working with one um, one little uh, beater on here right now so I have to do it a little longer next I'm going to add in uh, five egg whites and I'm going to do it one at a time so I'm going to add them in and then just mix it up I'm going to get them all mixed in and I have all the eggs incorporated and make sure you straight down your uh, your bowl to get everything all incorporated next I'm gonna go ahead and I have my flour and I'm gonna sift that with my three cups of flour and I have five tablespoons five teaspoons, I'm sorry, of baking powder along with one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay, I have my flour, baking powder, and my salt all sifted in. And I sifted it twice. Next, I have a cup of buttermilk along with and I'm gonna just put it all in the same in the can a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapples just the leftover juice it was about um, I think it was a cup left over I'm gonna just add this in and I'm gonna go ahead and add in my dry and my wet ingredients starting with the dry and ending with the dry so I'm probably gonna do about cut into thirds Mix this in my milk and pineapple, and I also have a half a cup of sour cream. And you don't want to over mix, and you don't want to under mix. Over mixing your cake makes it tough, and under mixing kind of makes it lumpy, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna stop and go ahead and beat the uh, scrape the sides down. I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, my sour cream. And I'm going to do a half a cup of that. And the sour cream and the buttermilk really makes the cake really uh, moist. 
and tender. And I'm gonna go while I'm doing that, add in my uh, pure coconut extract and my vanilla extract. I'm gonna do about a, a teaspoon of vanilla and maybe two teaspoons of coconut extract. How the mixture is looking this is going to be a three layer cake so I'm going to go and start filling my um, cake pans just a cup at a time I'm going to do two and this one around Next one. and I have my uh, cake pans line with parchment paper um, I just took the parchment paper laid the pan on it and I drew a circle around the bottom of it traced it and then cut it out I also flour and grease my pans also I got two in each, and now I'm just gonna. This cake smells so good. I smell like coconut, and I'm really not a big fan of coconut, but when it's pineapple and coconut, that's where you got me. Okay, that's number three. That one. Three on that one. I'm just gonna add in a little here, a little there. Okay, I'm gonna bake these about 30 minutes, about 30 to 35 minutes, not 350. I like to bake my cakes at 325 because the cakes always turn out moist, and you'll know when they're done because the cake start pulling away from the pan and then you can take the knife and stick it in the middle or toothpick and if it comes back clean it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna bring you back when it's time to make the cream cheese uh, butter frosting okay I'm back and I'm going ahead and making the cream butter cream cheese frosting I have two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature and also two um, sticks two um, eight ounce packages of cream Philadelphia cream cheese so about 16 ounces of that and I've already um, creamed them together I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my powdered sugar I have about five you can probably need about five to six cups depending on how sweet you like it and to that I'm going to add in a teaspoon of coconut pure coconut extract and pure vanilla extract
little milk. Probably like a tablespoon of milk. A teaspoon of milk, sorry, at a time. guys we are all back this is what the cream cheese uh buttercream cheese frosting looks like i'm gonna go so i'm gonna sit this aside and then start on the filling for inside the cake so right here i have 20 ounces of crushed pineapple drain i have some coconut and i don't like to toast my coconut I just like it uh, sweetened and that's fine and then i have some whipped topping so i'll add in my frosting that I made and whipped cream and whip it all together and when the cakes are done so let me go ahead and just do this this is the filling that's going to go inside of the the cake mixture To that I'm going to add in about four ounces of coconut and I'm going to layer this inside of the cakes. Cakes are baking. When they're ready I'll bring you back and we're going to put this cake, pineapple coconut cake all together. Okay I'm all back and I have the cakes all cool. Um, I baked them for 35 minutes at 325. I let them rest for about 20 minutes and I put them on the cooling rack. Right now I have my first cake and I'm going to go in with my uh, filling that I made, which consists of uh, pineapple, coconut, and the uh, buttercream cheese filling. I'm going to just pile this on here. I'm not going to get it too close to the edge when I put the first layer of cake on it. It's going to smush it down. Well, with my next cake, just take it and put it on. Just kind of it down and make sure it's all level. Everything in here, nice clean hands. Get it smushed down. I like to get a nice amount of that filling in there because it is so good. Get that on here. Really good, making sure that it's even and not lopsided. Just trying to pay attention to that because I can kind of mold it right now at this stage if it's a little lopsided. Does it look good, Gamaria? Yes, it looks really. It looks delicious. Can't wait for Daddy's birthday. That's my cameraman. My 11-year-old uh, is helping me out today. Hey guys. He also has a. A YouTube gaming channel, Kimarian Gaming. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just get my first coat on top of the cream cheese buttercream frosting, and we'll just do a nice layer crumb coat. 
It doesn't really have to be perfect. But I'm trying to get as much as I can on the top. I'm going to get that. I'm going to bring you back when it's time to put the coconut on. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And I have the cake all finished frosting up. And I went ahead and put a little few roses on the top. And now I'm just finishing putting on this coconut. And I'm thinking I might add some uh, crushed pineapples in the center of the cake because we love pineapples. Can't get enough of it, especially on a coconut cake. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put a few more. Roses on here. Oh, I think I should have enough. Squeeze about another one on here. Okay. Now, okay, just go ahead and spread some of the fresh crushed pineapples on the top of the cake. Put some of the coconut, and then this bad boy will get all finished. This is my husband's birthday cake, so we're gonna be eating this cake tomorrow. some coconut they're not too much because the pineapple is the star of our pineapple and coconut cake okay there you have it thank you for watching and I, like I said, I might go ahead and um, when we cut the cake, I'll insert a picture or maybe a short video of it. Hi guys, the cake is ready. Um, today's the next day, which is my husband's birthday. I cut him a piece and he's going to go ahead and taste the cake. It's so good and tender. Oh, that cake look good. Get inside there. It's good. They grew up so fast. Oh my God. <laughs> thank, thank you guys for watching. Um, share on all your social media um, outlets. And thank you. See you next week.